Do you know the value of your boat? Are you selling your boat and need to know how much to offer it for? Or looking to buy a vessel and want a fair market value estimate? Well, that is today's topic. Hey boating enthusiasts, welcome to the Boat Alert podcast. This is Billy with BoatAlert.com, and today, we will talk about boat valuation. To skip ahead, use the chapters in the description below but stick around till the end as I will list some free boat value estimators in a few minutes. If you are not already subscribed, you may want to consider it because, we have some great boating topics coming up. Let's dive right in. You surely don't want to overpay or leave money on the table and in fact, there are a few good boat value calculator tools out there but they rely on much of the same data behind the scenes. It is important to do your due diligence and research a boat's price to know its worth. These boat value calculators can give estimated pricing to know the boat's worth but if your boat is a rare model or has custom upgrades then you cannot really use them. When getting your boat's price evaluated, there are six main areas that need to be considered. 1. Cosmetic, the look and feel, design, of the boat. 2. Mechanical, engine quality, engine hours and structural integrity. 3. Build, size, age and model. 4. Location. 5. The boat's equipment. 6. The boat's history. Other important considerations include the manufacturer, model, and age for the vessel. Let's take a deeper look at how to determine the value of your boat. First, boats might be worth more or less depending on the supply and demand in a particular area. Second, a boat's history affects its value. You want to make sure to check the BoatAlert.com Hull ID history report to know if the vessel was in an accident or has any negative events in its history. The age of the boat makes a difference. You can expect boats to last around 10 to 25 years. Fiberglass is currently the most common material used to make recreational boats and other watercraft so they can last 50 years. An aluminum boat can last a lifetime. Once a boat leaves the lot or showroom, it will depreciate 20% per year. I will say that since the pandemic there has been an increase in boat prices. You might ask, how many engine hours on a boat is too much? The rule of thumb is that 100 boat engine hours is like 4,000 miles on a vehicle. Ultra-low boat engine hours are not always a good thing. It might mean that the boat stayed in storage for too long. A very high boat engine hours depends on the region but usually it is not a good sign. There are types of values you want to look up. 1. Fair market value of a used boat. 2. Dealer trade-in value when replacing a used boat with a new one. 3. Depreciated boat value based on years and hours used. 4. Similar watercraft selling prices in your market, used boat listings. To find each one of these, you need to research in different places. Since there are no Kelly Blue Book values for boats that KBB offers you will have to look for other tools. KBB does have values for personal watercraft among other vehicles but not boats. Start with JD Power Nauta Guides for Market Estimates. Then go to Boat Trader Price Checker to compare current listing like yours. To find a boat's trade-in value, you must go to a dealer. There are companies that buy boats such as we buy boats cash companies. Visit West Shore Marine and we buy boats to get cash offers. There is also off-the-hook yachts. Finally, go to hindicoder.com to try the two free boat value calculators. Another tip is to check your insurance papers for agreed hull value. Actually, your insurance company might request a boat appraisal or survey addition and valuation survey, C&V survey. Two great places to find a surveyor are the Society of Accredited Marine Surveyors, SAMS, and National Association of Marine Surveyors, NAMS. I want to conclude that after checking with guides, speaking with brokers, comparing online resources and histories and paying for a C&V survey, the bottom line on boat pricing, whether you're selling or buying, is how much is the boat worth to you? that may move the price up or down. Use those tools as a guide but consider that it is an emotional sell in the end. If you're the seller in need of fast cash, you'll take less. If you're an emotional buyer with the dream of a wet summer, you'll pay more. You can learn more in the blog article that accompanies this video, but now that you know the ropes, it's time for this video to pipe down. Leave a comment below if you have other tips for all of us or if you want to see me cover any other topics, I try to reply to all of your comments, one last thing, Please give us a thumbs up since it helps others find useful videos, and for more boating topics be sure to shape up and follow this channel, and hit the bell icon to keep us on deck. Alright, that's all we have for you today, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Thanks for listening.